Hey there, Lickin' Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome 12-string guitar lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which I want to discuss the shifty and crafty topic of 12-string soloing. Now, uh, most of us usually approach 12-string soloing as we would acoustic soloing, or even worse, electric soloing. Um, and that's not the sound that the 12 string is designed to make. The 12 string is not even designed to solo over. Um, but if you want to solo over it, there's a way to do it. Because if you try to play... Okay, you try to play um, blues soloing, okay, okay? It sounds nice, but there is a reason why harmonized lines are sparse, okay? Um, harmonization is there to spice things up, not to be there all the time. There's a reason you call it a solo. Solo means one note, a single note. So um, there's a way to solo over the harmonized um, strings, but it's not what you think. Uh, so let's start with how we can solo the way you, the way we're used to, and then I'll show you what sounds you can get from 12 string soloing, okay, on the uh, bass string. So, obviously, we're gonna start by playing strings one and two, okay, but we'll want to detune them a little bit, okay, you don't want an exact sound. Okay, you want to hear that crystalline, um, that crystalline um, shift when it's not completely united, okay? When it's not a complete unison, okay? Because then, because then you get a natural echo, you get a natural chorus effect, okay? And you can play anything you like. I prefer to, I prefer to let the sound ring. Okay, I prefer to let the sound ring, and when possible, I even play both strings as a phlegm, one right after another, not together, but, okay, to get a delay effect. Okay, I like to make it beautiful and uh, let the, the sound of the guitar, the special sound, speak for itself. Now the same goes for the, the second string. Okay, so detune it a little bit. Just a little bit. That way when you start playing thirds, you get a richness. It doesn't sound as if you're playing a six string. Okay, you can go watch my lesson on soloing on thirds and then try it. Okay, you can you can strum it. Okay, to get a faster sound, but I I like this. Okay, even backwards. Okay, playing, strumming upwards gives you a different sound, okay? You're soloing on a 12 string, why not utilize its sound? So the detuning plays a huge part here. Okay? Now, exotic scales work a lot better on a 12 string than normal scales, because normal scales usually uh, are played as single notes and again there's a reason why you only play octaves every now and then um, and if you play octaves all the time okay, let's say blues okay this is not the blues sound okay this is not a bluesy sound it's it's a really happy sound and the blues is supposed to be bluesy. And you can't really be bluesy when you have a happy okay, sound. 
Okay, um, so it defeats the purpose, in my, at least in my opinion. Okay, if, if you like it, then by all means, go ahead. Okay, I may be wrong here. This is only my opinion. Music is highly, highly su uh, subjective. Okay, it's also suggesti su suggestive, but it's also subjective. Okay, uh, which was my original point. So, exotic scales. Okay, you can play exotic scales on, um, on the 12th string and then you get kind of a Turkish Arabic sound. Okay. You can play one and three on strings uh, three and four and you get uh, sort of a G exotic scale. minor um, scale okay. which is three on the fifth zero one three on the fourth okay and then you have zero one three on the third and then you can play four okay I'll show you um, why in a second it, it gives it a slightly more exotic feel okay and then you have the second string on one Okay, so play five on the third string, that's a lot better. Okay, now you have choices here because you can play five, four, one, zero. You can play five, three, one, zero. You can play both of them. you usually get in exotic music okay especially in Arabic and Turkish music um, you get that um, octave sound you get that harmony that's the natural sound of the exotic uh, the, the, the Arabic exotic playing okay it's not natural to the guitar um, now some people like to go uh, all speed freak on the 12th string and play the Okay, um, like electric guitar playing would uh, would sound. I personally dislike it. I think I think it's overkill. Uh, I I personally never ever um, heard uh, a fast solo on a 12 string that I personally liked. If you have, okay, please let me know. I would love to learn that I'm wrong. I would love to be wrong about it. But this is my opinion, and this is the way I think that a 12-string solo should be. More exotic, less six-string-ish. And if you want to be six-string-ish, just play strings one and two. Okay, and then you get a little bit more bluesy. But again, um, I think the effect that you get calls for something different okay because you get a natural effect and um, for each guitar its own purposes okay so uh, again only my opinion if you disagree I would love to know why so thank you very much for watching you go enjoy your 12 string I'll see you in the next lesson subscribe to the channel if you haven't already bye for now thank you